Hi guys! Welcome back to another vlog. I am five months now and um, I'm anemic and Noah is sitting towards my back so I have severe back pain but I do feel his little punches and kicks and that's kind of weird for me because I've never felt that before and I just I don't know it's all new to me so um, my boobs are pretty much look at that that's uh, I hear they're gonna grow bigger from what I hear they're gonna get really big and they're already an F right now I've only gained about six pounds and they say that's pretty good so I'm gonna keep up the one pound or two pounds a month around there and I should be able to lose the baby weight with breastfeeding like that so I hear um what I want to talk to you about so with being five months I am scared because that means Noah is gonna be here in four months and we all know these months are passing by like no other and I still have to pack some stuff to make room for him and I was thinking about work and you know I'm scared that I'm never gonna be <sighs> Daniel has a really good job so I know Noah will always be taken care of but I want to take care of my kid too I don't want a part-time job I want a full-time job and I want to be able to support Noah on my own too and you know working after baby it just seems a little, like scary because I don't know what to expect because some people are like you know what once you have the baby you're not gonna want to work and I do need to work because I do want to support Noah and be able to not just depend on Daniel even though I know Daniel supports us because um, we're a family technically and that's what you know family does but I want to be able to buy Noah things on my own if that makes any sense because I've always been independent but you know I'm looking back at I guess this job and I'm starting to see you know just is this what I want after Noah I want to be able to have a full-time job Monday through Friday and support Noah and you know money's an issue obviously because I don't know who I saw diapers were like 40 bucks and you know that's scary and I'm thinking what if I can't breastfeed I'm gonna have to do formula and I know I do qualify for WIC so I know that I'm okay with that but but what about when Noah needs this and that and when he gets older is this and that and it's just a lot a lot it's going through my head right now a lot of you know I'm, I'm going through a growth spurt again and it's you guys have stuck around me with some of my hardest times and you guys have been there for me since day one you know I've cried over guys and and then I meet a guy and now I'm pregnant and you know here it is everything I've ever asked for is coming to fruition and fruition wait how do you say that same shit you know what I'm saying and it's scary because everything I prayed for last year and the years before that is coming true and I wasn't really prepared for it because I didn't think it would come true I didn't think things like this would happen to me I think I'm just scared because I don't want Noah to come from a broken home so me and Daniel always fight for us we always fight for our relationship and make sure we're solid at the end of the day but there's so many issues that I know Noah is gonna have because we all have issues but if I can prevent those issues then you know I am going to I was a child of abuse and I just don't want my son to go through with what I went through and 
I started thinking about money and work and I how I just want to be at a job that makes me happy and they don't take me for granted and they don't abuse their power over me and what am I showing Noah and I started to stand up for myself last week because I just feel like people thought it was okay to walk all over me because I'm pregnant and I don't want to teach my son to be somebody's doormat like I made the mistake of letting people be the person walking all over me and I don't want my son to do that I don't want my I want my son to be kind and soft but I don't want him to take anybody's shit at the same time so standing up for myself is huge even if it means hurting some people's feelings because I've never stood up to them I'm still doing it because I do need to stand Daniel's always saying stand up for yourself so I can stand up for yourself and I do, like, I need to, because I need Noah to stand up for himself. Um, motherhood is scary. Like, I look at all you moms, and I think, God, you guys are doing a great job. Because I do not know, except for one, who's not a good mom. Like, you guys give me such great advice, and I just feel like... It, I hope I'm a good mom. I hope, you know, my son doesn't do drugs and I hope he doesn't become a pimp. And <laughs> I hope he does things that I've never done and he succeeds more than me. And most of all, I just hope that he has, he picked up my soft side. So yeah, I'm getting scared. I'm getting scared a lot because when it comes down to it, I guess nobody, there's no manual on how to be a mom and especially me, I don't know. I'm not going to know until he comes and I'm already crying over him, I'm scared. <laughs> I don't even know what's to, I don't know what's to come. Like. Maybe that's scaring me too. I think most of you guys picked up on the fact that I'm scared of not knowing what's next. And, you know, life is so unpredictable. I know people who were married for 40 years and all of a sudden they're divorced. I know people who have not been married at all but are together. And I, it's just like, I know people who have kids who come from perfect homes but their kids are broken. And... I know life is so unpredictable and as a parent you can't control everything but I just I panic a lot because I I know Noah will never know the abuse my dad put me through and I know he'll never know what that pain feels like because I don't raise my voice and I don't hit so I know he's good with that one. I know he's going to test my patience a lot, so there'll be a lot of time out and a lot of things taken away, but I guess right now, being in my fifth month, I'm really scared. Like, I'm really scared. And I'm just scared. But I guess that's normal, right? With your first child, you're scared. I'm also scared of something coming out of my vagina and my vagina opening up like this. But, hey. But, yeah, I guess I'm just scared right now. Fifth month. Four more months to go. And, um, I'm scared. So, I want to say thank you for all your support and all your kind words. And I know some of you guys are like, Stephanie, enjoy your pregnancy. And, you know, I will. Um, I will. These hurt, by the way. But, you know, I think I'm just scared. It really comes down to me being scared. And I want to say thank you for all your love and support and kind words and your advice because I take it all in. I don't brush it to the side. I just take it all in. And I love hearing different perspectives. And I just thank you. Bye, guys.